Those reference checks are always bespoke to the opportunity and the individual you're talking to. Uh, And so you do your homework ahead of time. If it's a portfolio company, you understand what the portfolio company does. You understand the background of the individual you'll be talking to. Usually it starts with an open-ended question. Um, How did you first meet this investor in your in your firm? And, uh, you know, what do you think of them? And keep it open ended, and they will normally start talking, and it'll go in a certain direction. It then bobs and weaves along the way as you've got questions that you have focused already around the risks that you're concerned about. If you're concerned about something, you bring it up in a very um, non threatening way to try and see if they can either get you comfortable with that risk or they can mitigate that risk. Um, and you also want to do confirmatory due diligence. Um, if the general partner has said they are very much in contact with their entrepreneurs all the time and they add value in a very specific way, or this company is doing exceptionally well, it's up and to the right, you do confirmatory questions that validate all that's been told to you by the general partner. Because the one thing that is a real problem is if the general partner misrepresents who he or she is and what they have or haven't done.